Hi, I'm Ryan Reed, Chief Pilot with Midcontinent Instruments and Avionics and True Blue Power. And we're going to be doing some flight testing today of our MD302 Standby Attitude Module and the brand new magnetometer MD32. Come on, let's check it out. about this airplane is that it's so nice and stable and easy to fly, especially for these flight tests. So as we level out here, you'll notice our heading there is within two degrees, which is good. And we can start some of our maneuvers. We want to make sure that we get it in an aircraft and, and put some of the variables that just might not be the same as on a bench test. It's one of the more popular standby instruments, I'd say, right now. It's in a lot of our OEM aircraft manufacturers as standard equipment and it's on hundreds of aircraft STCs around the world. So, very proven piece of equipment. This is just simulating kind of a two minute turn, uh, holding altitude to 5,000, kind of a two minute turn. As if you were gonna hold approach. Our heading is looking great today. That magnetometer is doing a great job. Within a one degree or so, that sensor is a very, very good sensor. All right, let's have a little bit more fun. We're going to do a ever-changing pitch, airspeed, and roll maneuver, similar to a Lazy 8's Maybe not as lazy. What we're doing is we're just kind of working some of the gyros. Put a little light in our seat. Um, no negative G's. No real positive G's. But we want to get that airspeed up. We want to get the angles up. We're going to stay well within anything that would be considered aerobatics. A very safe, just a little bit more than, than lazy. Uh, and maintaining roughly close to our start heading. So just constant speed, pitch, and roll changes. And we'll kind of see if we can get our sensors on the tip of their toes. But I'm feeling they're pretty stable here. And we'll come pop back up and level back out at 5,000. Go back to our starting heading. There we go. Uh, the attitude is dead on. Airspeed's nice. Altitude's perfect. Uh, a couple degrees maybe on the magnetometer sensor, but the good news is, is that we have a very easy uh, on the ground calibration process. And it's just as easy as going to a compass rose, setting in a few values for orientation, and then hitting those cardinal headings, the four main ones 36090, 180, and 270 for just a couple minutes and you can get that to reset but uh, we're looking pretty good that that added the uh, heading now within two degrees again so it recovered nicely uh, and that's what you want to see on a standby well while we're having some fun here uh, doing the flight testing thing let's go ahead and put this uh, aircraft down on the grass strip has these 29 inch tires and they're made with the they're attached to some of the beefiest landing gear you'll ever see. Been over the trees. The idle down. It's a cool airplane. <laughs> 